Hello, in this video I'm going to show you an animated docker called Object Doc. In my web browser, I'm going to type Object Doc. And I'm going to click on the first link, Object Doc, Animated Doc for your shortcuts and widgets. The home page gives a brief overview of the doc. Here you have the free download, and you also have Object Doc Plus. There's a few more features with Object Doc Plus, but the free version has plenty itself. I'm going to scroll up to the top of the page, and I'm going to go to Purchase Download. Here's where you would have the option to download the free version or purchase the full version. And I'm going to click on the free download button. You have to enter your email address so Docky can send a link for the download. So I'm going to enter my email address and click download. Once you click download, it says thank you for your interest in Object Doc. An email with a download link has been sent to you. So now I need to go to my email, and then I'm going to open the email for Stardot Corporation. And right here, I'm going to click on the Download Now link. It's kind of weird how they do this. They sent me to CNET.com, which is fine. So I'm going to click the Download Now button. I'm going to save the file. If you have the option to run, go ahead and run it. Once it's finished downloading, I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to agree to the terms of the license agreement and click Next. This would be a matter of preference. I'm going to uncheck all these. I don't want the AVG security toolbar. And I'm going to click Next. And I'm going to click Next one more time. When the installation is complete, I'm going to leave the box checked. I'm going to click Finish. And here's the new dock here. And as you can see, it imported all of my shortcuts to this dock from my taskbar. When the dock first opened, the configuration page opened. Here it tells you what dock you're using. You also have the option to create a new dock, but that's only with the plus version. Under settings, you can have the dock load at startup. You can hide the Windows taskbar, which I already did. And you can also enable arrow peak on running tasks. Under performance and troubleshooting, performance options, you can adjust the image quality. You can adjust how icons zoom in and out. And you can also adjust the auto hide speed. Under memory and speed optimization, you can optimize for performance or optimize for memory. And I'm going to leave optimize for performance checked and I'm going to click OK. There's also miscellaneous tweaks where you can show indicators under running programs. And you can also configure the attention effect. It's right now it's set to glow. If I set it on side to side, see how it bounces side to side after I click on it. Next I'll do bounce, it bounces when I click on it, and I'm going to go ahead and close the configuration window here. Now there's a lot of cool things that actually come with the dock. Right here where it says NA, if I clicked on this, and if I gave my location, I'm going to leave the temperature as Fahrenheit. Under 5 day forecast, I'm going to leave the flyout on mouse over checked. I'm also going to leave flyout on click checked. You can also adjust the flyout tile size. I'm just going to leave mine at medium and click update. And now if I were to hover over the weather icon, it will show me the forecast for the entire week. And I think that one's pretty cool. If you wanted to remove an icon from the dock, you simply right click on it and click unpin this program from the dock. Under settings. You can add a shortcut to your email, internet, music player, and document editor. Under Doclets, you have plenty of Doclets. You have calendar, clock, battery memory, web search, weather, start menu, show desktop, recycle bin, and you also have the option to configure or unload the dock. And from right here, I'm going to click on the clock. And here's the clock here on the dock. I'm going to go ahead and remove it since I already have one on there. And that's Optic Dock. You guys get a chance, download it, play around with it. It's a lot of fun, really cool looking. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.